Today is day number 10 of the Little Pat McGrath Lab series that I'm currently running here on my channel. If you are new to the series or new to my channel, essentially I am creating a very simple everyday makeup look using one of the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palettes or other palettes I have in my collection. Today is day 10, which is Venus in Fleur's Voyeuristic Vixen Quad. If you have been around here for a hot little minute, you know I actually don't like this quad. It's the only Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palette I have ever tried that I don't super super love. I mean, I do like it. It's just that I don't I don't love using it at the same time. It's a love-hate relationship, let's call it. Anyway, we're going to create a look with this one today. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I'm doing this very quickly on my lunch break because... I wasn't supposed to have meetings today and so I was kind of being lazy and not doing makeup. Well, that's not really lazy. I just wasn't wearing makeup. But now I have this kind of like important meeting this afternoon and I'm like, I need to look a little bit put together for this. Uh, it kind of just got sprung on me. So I was like, I need to quickly do my makeup and this quad's like really soft and everyday and simple and perfect for like a Zoom meeting. So I was like, I'll just quickly do this. And I'm here doing my makeup anyway, so I was like, may as well film at the same time, you know? Two birds, one stone. I'm gonna take my What's Up Beauty R104 Rush, which is pretty much the same as the Refer 16 if you have it. I'm gonna dip into Subliminal first because I really, one, the matte shade in this quad is is not a transition shade for me, and I don't super love that matte. I find it quite patchy. It's actually one of the reasons why I really dislike that quad. So I am going to dip into Subliminal, and I'm gonna go just something soft and simple. Nothing, nothing revolutionary like normal. <laughs> But that's the whole point of this series, it's not for it to be revolutionary or fancy, it's just supposed to give you guys some ideas on how you can incorporate these palettes into your everyday. And hopefully they it's inspiring you. As a side note, it took me until today, so we're 10 days in to me filming this series. And you're, if you're watching this, you're probably 10 days, if you've watched it in order, you're 10 days in to this series as well. And it took me this long. To realize that I counted my palettes wrong and I don't have 14 Pat McGrath Labs palettes, I have 13. <laughs> so I was like this morning, oh my gosh, the whole time I've been filming pretty much from like, I think day two or day three, I've been saying 14 days of Pat McGrath and I'm like, I don't even have 14 palettes from Pat McGrath. <laughs> So that's been fun. So you know what I'm going to do on day 14, I'm actually going to talk about all of the Pat McGrath Labs palettes I have in my collection and whether or not I think they're worth it and like, you know, just give a little quick review of each product, break down what I have from the brand. I have nearly most products, not all of them, There's a, there is quite a few I don't have, but I do have quite a few. Now I'll dip into this mat. <laughs> I just don't love it. I don't love it, but you might love it and that's completely okay. It's just not my vibe. Uh, Refer 14 and I'm just going to use this to softly just deepen a little bit. When you see me kind of doing this on the outer corner here, I'm pressing so softly and it's basically just deepening this outer corner crease without adding too much color because if you kind of tap, it's going to pack more color on whereas when you swipe it will kind of not apply as much color. I don't want it to be too, too dark. So I'll take that What's Up Beauty brush again with that subliminal shade and just kind of buff the edges. So yeah, anyway, it took me a really embarrassingly long time to figure out that, yeah, I don't have 14 Pat McGrath Labs palettes in my collection. I have 13 and I've been saying 14 this whole time because I just actually can't count, which, you know, doesn't surprise me. I wasn't the best at maths. English was more fine, more my forte. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just do, you know, a Pat McGrath Labs kind of brand roundup, if you will, for the very last video. Now I know most of you are gonna want me to use this shade right here and it is very, very pretty, but I'm not going to use that today. It's just a little bit glam. For me today. Normally I wouldn't, like I would wear that shade to work, but just for me today I really want to dip into this shade. I'm gonna take my Pat Intensify stick, pop this onto the lid where I'm gonna pop that shadow down. Delium Tools 
773. And let's go into this shade. I do, I have to admit, this is my favorite shade in the whole quad. I know this one's pretty, but I love this one. It's gorgeous. And the reason why I don't super love these is they're just really crumbly and it kind of annoys me. But I will admit that even since when I first picked up this quad, my skill level has kind of increased. And I've really learned to tap instead of swipe. And so I feel like I could probably use this quad again and actually like it a lot more. It's been a while since I've used it. Also, just look at the shade. Mm, that is like a bronzy dream. That shade is looking kind of amazing. So hmm, I don't think this would, this would still be my least favorite pack. Like if you've seen my rankings, you know that one always ranks last and it still would. It still would, but I probably won't be as harsh on it moving forward. <laughs> We're all entitled to change our mind, friends. Anyway, uh, Ruffle 14 and dipping back into the dark matte just to marry. We're gonna leave this here for now. I will put my um, black Charlotte Tilbury liner on the top waterline and the champagne on the bottom waterline. And then we're gonna move into the speed through of my base makeup. And then we'll come back, finish lower lash line and do lips together, so two seconds. makeup is all done. All of the products are linked down below in the description box like normal. I'm going to dip into Subliminal, the transition shade that we used, and I'll run this onto the lower lash line. I'm just going to take the champagne shade from Voyeuristic Vixen with a BK207. I'll pop that on the inner corner. I'm going to take my Victoria Beckham Mascara. And then for lips, I'm going to take Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I'm going to fill the lips in with this as well. And then I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario uh, Moisture Glow in Mauve Glow. I'm going to go do my hair and then we'll zoom out and show you the finished look. So just did your feet. This is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I feel like it's definitely perfect for this top. Very like bronzy but soft bronzy and I'm here for it but let me know I'd be interested to hear what you guys think I definitely changed my opinion I think of this quad I think maybe it was a little bit user error at the start but it's still not something I'm just going to super reach for all the time it's just not colors that I would apart from this shade right here but these three I just I, I mean I have this in all my motherships and these two are just they're just not my everyday colors but I think I'll probably get a little bit more use out of it than I was before now so you know I even inspired myself to dip back into some of my palettes. So there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Tomorrow, I think we will start doing the Bridgerton palettes and then finish on Celestial Odyssey and then that kind of like roundup video of the whole brand. So hopefully that all sounds exciting. Now, if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.